Hey guys, Wade Triple Three here. Tonight I'm going to be doing a Frank Thomas 90s inserts PC showcase. Tonight we'll showcase some of my better Frank Thomas cards. So in no particular order. First three I have are graded issues from PSA. First here is 1994 Ultra on base leader. So I really like the foil design on this card. Also has some great kind of like neon colors. Just completely 90s. Really like the design of this. And of course, Thomas led a lot of categories and offense in the early to mid and even uh, up to the late 90s. Of course, uh, another one of the great cards from the 90s and 95 Leaf statistical standouts. Great shot and great background. I'm trying to cut off some of this glare here, I apologize. Uh, great foil design, you can see the gold really pop. And these are seal number to 5,000. Just great looking cards. All right, and 96 here, Leaf. Gold Leaf Stars, just a nice gold background. Serial number to 2500, just nice clean design. Let's see if I can cut the light a little bit here, just to make it a little easier on the eyes. So the next card is from 2000 Pacific Private Stock. These cards are royal, real thin stock. It's the Pacific Reserve. So it just kind of has a canvas-like texture on the front, paper thin. And we'll quickly go back into the 90s again. Great shine here, 96 clear zone. First year, uh, Fleer issued the zone insert. It's a 98 Ultra Prime Leather. And it has a leather matte finish on the front. Thomas playing first base there. Pacific issue here. This is 2000 Revolution. These are something called like on deck inserts here. I can't read this tiny uh, on deck laser cuts, maybe. Anyways, and it kind of has them with a, some grass background. Pretty simple design. And let's get some more shine here. 2003 Finest Refractor. It's great shine. A few of these cards are duplicates. Uh, Frank Thomas Collector was selling on a Facebook group, so I had a pretty good deal on a lot of them, so I figured I'd pick some up. Can't go wrong with the Big Hurts. The 95 Summit, Big Bang. Another card with some uh, great sh holographic shine on the front. It's a simple design, nothing too crazy. And then we jump ahead, I believe this is 2007 or eight. Topps Heritage Chrome Refractor. And Frank featured in a uh, Blue Jay uniform. This is serial numbered to 559. Like 2008. You know, I don't think Heritage has any bad looking cards. It's great, great designs. See 97, Tops Gallery, 
Peter Max stereographs. This was uh, all these inserts from this set were designed by Peter Max, the late artist. He had used a lot of bright colors, as you can see. Ooh. Only a matter of time before that happened. Well, let's fill that in with another card then. How about the 91 Sport Collector's Digest? This is from the uh, magazine, it's a magazine cut. Really love, uh, Frank has the old retro Chicago White Sox hat on this photo. So this card was trimmed out of a collector's magazine, uh, SCD. Pretty sharp. So that will take the place there. And here's another 2006 Topps 52 debut Chrome Refractor. Another card I really like the uh, just tons of shine. And then of course Frank has the old retro hat on this photo as well. Just great shine, great. So they only made this set one year, of course, is uh, Re 52 remake, 552. Beautiful card. Let's see what we put in the front here. Yeah, so pretty, pretty shiny, but do what we can. In 1996, Leaf Preferred Stairmaster. This is a great design set, just uh, mostly portrait shots for all the players. Serial so number to 2,500 sets. Remember, I got this card on Check On My Cards for maybe $6 or something like that. Couldn't pass it up for that price. Another Pacific issue from 2000. This is Revolution. Now this is a uh, on-deck on laser die cut. Uh, nice design, nice die cut. And here's the 98, the 98 Pacific EO Portraits, first year they made this card, this set, EO Portraits. Now this one you put up to the light, you can actually see his face, you can kind of see in the back here. There you go. It's a full bleed design for the first year here. And here's one I've always been a fan of, the 2000 Pacific Prism Ballpark Legends. A simple card, but I really love that background kind of you know it's got the dusk background stadium the sun's going down and tough pulls too I believe this they may be one in 360 packs so tough cards and keep with the Pacific theme this is the 2000 Pacific Gold Crown die cut. Always a big fan of these die cut cards. So many great designs. They started making the die cut insert sets in 1995. Here's a 1992 MTV. This was, I believe, the Rock and Jock softball game, yes. They had a three card set with Ken Griffey Jr. And I believe it was, was it MC Hammer? Was the other card? Early on in Frank's career. Let's see, 2000 Upper Deck Vintage, great card. I love the, how this kind of mimics the 1971 tops out the black borders. We have a four piece game use bat card with Frank. William McCovey, Hank Greenberg, and Eddie motherfucking Murray. Four legends right here, just all great players. So I was very happy to pick that up. Let's see, 97 top stars. Refractor. 
It's the all-star. I love the fireworks in the background, really pops. I remember this set, uh, 97 Tops, when it came out back in the day. Let's see, we'll add that to the side here. And we have a 2005 Bowman Chrome Refractor. Prank on the base pass. Ninety-five leaf, gold leaf stars. And there's a ninety-seven pinnacle inside. These came out of the cans. This is a forty-something insert. There's maybe one in thirty-six or so. Can't be sure. Here's one of my favorites, 98 Fleer Tradition Zone. I showed the 96 earlier. Here's the 98, the last year they made Zone. It's great shine, great design. Back's a nice color too, nice design on the back. Great card. A 2001 SPX winning materials duos game use base and game use ball as you can see in the lower right serial number to 250 copies information on the back about the authenticity of the uh, game use items And back to the mid-90s here, 96 Don Ross Diamond Kings. This is the year that really kicked it off big for Diamond Kings. First year, they were serial numbered, I believe. 10,000 sets. Dick Perez did all the uh, shots for this. Did a lot of art for the Diamond Kings over the years. I think he started back in the 80s. 96 Leaf statistical standouts. Great design. 95, of course, was great with the baseball, but this is a close second. Again, nice matte finish. Great design. So, number to 2,500 sets. Can't go wrong with that. And then I'm going to finish it off with a few black refractors. Here's the 2004 Topps Chrome Black Refractor. It's a beauty. Great shine. Of course, white socks are black and white colors. Really uh, goes well. It's a great shine here. And to kind of wrap up Frank's career, here he is, uh, one of his Last seasons, 2006, Topps Chrome Black Refractor. Just strange seeing him in an athletics uniform with that green on there, but also the reason I wanted to pick it up. You know, he's kind of forget about these players who played for a couple other teams towards the end of their career. And uh, there's never any bad looking black refractors, so definitely one I wanted to pick up. So that pretty much covers uh, my Frank Thomas cards. I have a binder with some inserts and other cards as well, but that kind of covers the highlights. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.